Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we've been taking a closer look at the works of mercy, first the corporal works, and now the spiritual. Today, the third spiritual work of mercy, admonishing sinners. To admonish a sinner means to warn them or to reprimand them in some firm way. Lots of people, oddly, see warnings like these purely in terms of oppression and control, rather than as a form of mercy. Indeed, many would have difficulty understanding how such a warning could be merciful. Well, I've used this example before, but suppose there's a cliff on the path ahead that if you keep walking for another 20 meters, you'll fall to your death. Isn't it merciful to warn a person not to keep walking in that direction? In the same way, isn't it merciful to want someone not to keep sinning, since you know it can lead to an even worse fall and an even worse kind of death? People often ignore this merciful aspect of cautionary warnings, and there may be several reasons for this, but often there are two big general reasons. Many are swimming in so much sin that any form of warning against it is overwhelmingly painful to them. Also, even if a person isn't that far gone, they still might not have reached the point where they're ready to warn others against sin and evil, and therefore can't personally sympathize with the value of doing so. The purpose of warning someone against their sins is always the same, to try to give them another chance to repent and be saved. Often this can be bundled up with instructing the ignorant because a person may not always know what's a sin and what isn't, or how to recognize a sin when they see one. These are skills that a solid Christian will be ready to teach, as long as they know their faith well enough. If we truly love God, we should all seek that kind of understanding, and anything else that could help assist in the salvation of souls. The purpose of admonishing sinners is not to hurt people's feelings. That doesn't mean it's wrong of you to say something that will hurt the feelings of another, only that that shouldn't be your ultimate goal. If hurting someone's feelings causes them to turn away from sin, it is legitimate, but such circumstances are extremely rare. Most of the time a person who feels hurt will only become less rational and more stubborn in their decisions. So try to keep focused on the goal of saving souls, not on winning or putting one over on the other guy. Remember, the only real winner is the person who stays faithful to God or is forgiven of their sins and saved, and the only real loser is the person who stubbornly refuses God. The goal is to try to make as many winners as possible, and that's the purpose of admonishing sinners. Next, how can we bear wrongs patiently? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.